And, you know, with social media nowadays, like there's so many conversations about love and dating and, you know, different standards one is supposed to have, like, in regards to dating, like, I don't know if you saw like the viral, like $200 date and like the most recent, like Cheesecake mm-hmm. Factory, you know, first date debacle. Um, <laughs> what do you think people mm-hmm. are getting wrong about dating? And, you know, what mm. do you think the Black Love uh, Summit can address for that? Yeah. Well, I haven't seen the, the Cheesecake Factory one, so I'll definitely mm-hmm. look into that. Okay. But, um, you know, I think that. The Black Love Summit, the Black Love brand, like we work to encourage our community to create authentic connection, right? Um, That takes a little bit of vulnerability and that takes a little bit of grace. Um, And I think that some people hear that, right? Grace, well, I'm not going to accept this, you know, this, that, or the other thing. And it's like, you know, know your boundaries, but also recognize that people are human, I mean, that's why I go back to like, it starts with self-love. Recognize that you may be meeting someone who has a lot of potential, but maybe doesn't even know their full potential. Or maybe mm-hmm. it wasn't cultivated by, by their parents or, you know, we're all on a journey. Um, and so for me, I think that what people may be getting wrong about dating is that they're often looking for some sort of perfect package right away. And if you're not, A, asking the questions to get the information that you want, right, and you're not showing up vulnerably yourself, then you're not creating an environment to really get to know someone. You're just looking at the superficial. What do they do? What do they wear? What are their answers to basic questions? You know, are you in therapy? (laughs) Have you ever been in therapy? What do you think of therapy? How is your relationship with your family? Why or why not? Because even just that answer doesn't necessarily tell you anything. Why Why this? Why that? Mm-hmm. Um, really spending time, like getting to know someone, really understanding why somebody wants to go on the $20 date versus the $500 date, right? Maybe whatever. Maybe they just got paid. Maybe they about to get paid, but they really wanted to be with you. Um, and so understanding why someone's making the decisions that they're making is really important. Um and so I just think that, that that's where the grace comes in, right? Um, so, you know, I, and I think that social media creates an environment where we make a lot of snap judgments. People say however they feel in, in one sentence or less. And, and then there's a lot of bandwagon likes on that thing. And um, then we start to think, oh, that's popular opinion. When really people are just scrolling and clicking and scrolling and clicking. They not think about you and your your date, whether it was twenty dollars or two or, or five hundred dollars. They just got a little opinion and keep it moving. Um, so I think to that end, we let a lot of other voices in when we don't really need to. You know, you know what's what's best for you, but you have to be offering the same vulnerability and um and expectation setting so that you can get that in return. Mm. 